Today, we will delve into the depths of the life of Leonardo da Vinci. Considered one of the greatest geniuses in history, Leonardo was born on April 15, 1452, in the town of Vinci, Italy. He had an interesting childhood. His father was a noble notary, and his mother was a servant from a lower class. Therefore, he was born out of wedlock, according to a claim. His mother was a slave acquired in the Ottoman Empire, which was believed to be the reason for Leonardo's future interest in the Ottoman Empire. Due to being illegitimate, Leonardo couldn't attend school. However, his drunk uncle, who loved him the most, became the person to instill his first scientific thoughts, teaching him to question nature and the world. Recognizing Leonardo's drawings, as his intelligence slowly revealed itself, his father, noticing his talent, placed him in a famous art school in Florence under the mentorship of Master Verrocchio. Years of experience had refined his fingers, and Leonardo was becoming a skilled artist. An important turning point in his life occurred when Verrocchio received an order for a painting depicting the baptism of Jesus. Leonardo, as an apprentice, was assigned to paint the angels. When the painting was completed, the most beautiful part turned out to be the angels drawn by Leonardo. Witnessing this, Verrocchio exclaimed, Leonardo, you have surpassed me. And according to reports, Verrocchio never touched a brush again. From that moment on, Leonardo started gaining recognition throughout Europe. Despite his young age, Leonardo was a prodigy and a scientist. In the Italy of the Renaissance, wealthy families protected scientists and artists, and Leonardo began to be recognized all over Europe. Now, let me list Leonardo da Vinci's areas of expertise. Philosopher, astronomer, architect, engineer, inventor, mathematician, anatomist, musician, sculptor, botanist, geologist, cartographer, writer and painter. He could use both his right and left hands, even painting with one hand and writing with the other. And his writings were mirrored and could only be read with the help of a mirror. Leonardo believed in the right to life for all living beings. Making him a vegetarian, he used linen while others used leather and fur. When he saw an animal in a cage, he would buy it and set it free. Anatomy was crucial to him, and he would secretly examine dead human bodies at night. His studies and drawings, even today, evoke admiration and, like Ibn Sina, have paved the way for modern medicine. When the church banned his work on human cadavers, he continued his studies on dead cattle bodies. The church of that time and many sources portrayed him as someone working in disgusting conditions claiming that he disliked physical contact. His observations on reproduction and related matters were considered so disgusting that if people did not have pleasant faces and emotional inclinations, they would disappear shortly. This statement was later analyzed by Sigmund Freud, who concluded that Leonardo was frigid, meaning he showed coldness towards others in a sexual context. Freud deduced this from studying Leonardo's writings. As it turns out, da Vinci did not marry, and there is no evidence of any relationships. While he was briefly claimed to be homosexual, no evidence was presented. Leonardo da Vinci's inventions and contributions may surprise you. Let's take a look at the helicopter. For example, yes, the detailed design of the first helicopter belongs to him. Although he did not live long enough to build it, Sikorsky, who created the modern helicopter, stated that he took inspiration from Leonardo da Vinci's design. In addition to the helicopter, he designed the parachute, the first armored tank, the prototype of the machine gun, underwater designs, self-propelled cars, and bearings. His work laid the foundation for modern tools, including the first robots, he created a mechanical lion that could move on its own. Posthumously discovered among his inventions are mechanisms powered by solar energy. He loved birds, spending a significant part of his day studying bird movements. Various flying machines based on bird movements were designed, 
some intended for use by two people, recognizing that pandemic diseases stemmed from a lack of social hygiene. Da Vinci designed cleaner and more beautiful cities, influencing the establishment of one of the first cities in America by Christopher Columbus. If we can fly today, if there are cars, helicopters, foldable bridges, and even television, we owe a great deal to Da Vinci, who lived 500 years ago. If we hadn't acknowledged him, believe me, we would be living in a very different world today. Now, let's look at another aspect of Leonardo. He's one of the greatest painters of all time. But painting was a trend that fell far behind for him. He completed only 12 to 18 paintings, one of them being the famous Mona Lisa. There are speculations about another significant painting, The Last Supper, suggesting that it portrays not a queen or a beautiful woman, but an ordinary wife of a merchant, and that the painting was never completed, regardless of how you look at it. The Mona Lisa painting, seemingly turning towards you, remains unfinished. It was removed from the museum in 1960, when Pablo Picasso was arrested for theft. If we examine The Last Supper, a painting filled with incredible underlying meanings, it is safe to say that it is not enough for our days. Jesus tells his disciples, one of you will betray me and hand me over today. The painting depicts the astonished people. Unfortunately, it is a print made on a wall and is slowly fading away. The only known Da Vinci manuscript, purchased by Bill Gates 29 years ago, for $40 million, has been digitally uploaded to the internet for the whole world to read. You can access it. Leonardo da Vinci, a genius who is one of the most important figures in human history, died at the age of 67 on May 2nd, 1519, in his home in France. However, the legacy he left behind is infinite. His notes, drawings, and works carry his brilliant mind and extraordinary talents to our present day. Leonardo da Vinci's life is not just the story of an artist, but also of a scientist, engineer, and thinker. His works and inventions express pushing the boundaries of humanity and an endless hunger for knowledge. I hope this video provides you with the opportunity to get to know this genius more closely. If you enjoyed the video, and would like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Also, let me know in the comments what topic you'd like me to cover in the next video.